Good morning, everyone. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, we're uh, moving right along like we've been hearing Jesus tell the parables. And he always talks about, you know, things like seeds and things growing. And it makes me think of garden season. And, um, you know, when things, you have a garden, and you have to be generous because you've got so much stuff, you have to give it away. And uh, that's a whole other thing about God and maybe something for our examination of conscience. Um, have we, you know, not been generous? Have we, what, what do we need to do to be more like God? We call to mind our sins. You came to gather the nations into the peace of God's kingdom. Lord, have mercy. You grant us your mercy and your forgiveness and love in word and sacrament. Christ, have mercy. You feed us with many good things, including your body and blood. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins. Bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world. Receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit and the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Show favor, O Lord, to your servants. Mercifully increase the gifts of your grace that made fervent in hope, faith, and love. We may be ever watchful in keeping your commands through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. There is no God besides you who have the care of all, that you need show you have not unjustly condemned. For your might is the source of justice. Your mastery over all things makes you lenient to all. For you show your might when the perfection of your power is disbelieved. And in those who know you, you rebuke temerity. But though you are master of might, you judge with clemency, and with much lenience you govern us. For power, whenever you will, attends you. And you taught your people by these deeds, that those who are just must be kind. And you gave your children good ground for hope, that you would permit repentance for their sins. The word of the Lord.
A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, the Spirit comes to the aid of our weakness, for we do not know how to pray as we ought. But the Spirit himself intercedes with inexpressible groanings, and the one who searches hearts knows what is the attention of the Spirit, because he intercedes for the Holy Ones according to God's will. The Word of the Lord. Thanks. 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 His slave said to him, Do you want us to go and pull them up? He replied, No, if you pull up the weeds, you will like uproot the wheat along with them. Let them grow together until harvest. Then at the harvest time, I will say to the harvester, First collect the weeds and tie them in bundles for burning, but gather the wheat into my barn. Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. Okay, well, you know, he's talking about heaven, too. He, 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 as we, we, we hear, uh, if you heard, if I read more about it, Jesus interprets the, the passage later. He talks about it's when the angels are going to come and, and gather. And then, then there's, he talks about the kingdom of God, the kingdom of God's heaven, right? So, but when Jesus talks about heaven today, what does he talk about? He doesn't, he doesn't he talk about harps and clouds and pearly gates. No. What's he talk about? Do you know? Anybody know out there? <laughs> Seeds. <laughs> Dirt. <laughs> Plants. And so what he's trying to say is that it's here. It's on this earth. And we don't have to wait till we go to heaven or look up there, but God's with us now. God's with you now. And that's what we try to remember and think about it. And sometimes he talks about it. Sometimes God is hidden. You know, God is spiritual, so it's just like he's not like obvious all the time. But he's saying, Jesus says, He's here. 
and he grows like a small little plant that gets huge and that's the way God is in our life maybe you don't know it but he's huge in your life and um, that's that's part of it as well and so let's remember that he's with us now and he's ready to help us and his kingdom is growing the goodness of God is growing so many times we think about this whole idea of weeds and wheat, you know, like there's bad going on all over the place. Where's the good? And it's so confusing. It's so tangled up. And to remember, again, God is there. So in these parables, we know evil exists in the world. We see evidence all around. Sometimes it seems that this evil is winning. Will the weeds eventually choke out the wheat and overrun God's field of kingdom? No, Jesus reassures us that it will not end. The angel, in the end, the angels of God will sort the bad from the good. Evil will be destroyed forever. The angels will collect all who cause others to sin and all evildoers and throw them out. The righteous will shine like the sun in the kingdom of the Father. There's one thing he talks about about all of this is that we are not to judge. He talks about these weeds and wheat, but we can't determine. He says, no, let them all go. Let them all grow. It's not us to determine who, you know, are the weeds and wheat. That is up to God, God's job. And so with the struggles we have in life, the people we meet, the conflicts that we have in this life, and the things we see, the people we wonder about, and the things on the news, and the world, and our country, to try not to judge is definitely something of a challenge. And God, please help us. May your kingdom be in our hearts so that we can see as you see, and love as you love. So, we don't get discouraged by the evil we see. We don't give up hope. The fact is, the death and the resurrection of Jesus, Jesus has already won the victory over evil. Someday, God's kingdom will reign over all the earth. Believe that your small acts of faithfulness really do make a difference. With every prayer, with every act of faith, with every good deed, you help build the kingdom of God. As I said before, be like a gardener, be generous for God, do good. May the word of God take hold wildly and freely in this fractured world so that something extraordinary blossoms and indeed bears fruit in spiritual, unimaginable ways. May this Eucharist then, that we receive, strengthen us now, feed us like bread, like wheat, and also provide the way to eternal life. May God give us the strength and grace, and may God's kingdom grow. In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. We profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten and not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made, for us men for our salvation came down from heaven. By the Holy Spirit, who was incarnate of the Virgin Mary, became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead. His kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, Proceeds from the Father and the Son, 
who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who is spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, apostolic church. I confess for baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Acknowledging our prayers, we give them to God at this time. Our response will be, hear our prayer. For Pope Francis, Bishop Persico, and all church leaders, that they may faithfully guide, closer to God, all who are entrusted to their care, we pray. Yes. For leaders throughout the world, may they help to nurture the seeds of freedom and peace within their people, we pray. Yes. For wisdom, that we may recognize the small ways God is at work in our lives, so that we may cooperate with God who accomplishes great things, we pray. Yes. For an end to the coronavirus pandemic, that God's healing love will drive away from the human family, we pray. Yes. For all who are working to find cures for diseases, especially COVID-19, that God will guide them to new insights that will protect and promote the dignity of all human life, we pray. For all who are unemployed and for our local economy, that God will ease fears, give courage, and open new pathways to support families and communities, we pray. For those trapped in addictions, that God will free them from past mistakes so they can begin again, we pray. Yeah. For our community churches, especially Reverend M. Birdie and members of the First Presbyterian Church, we also pray for Father Felix and the members of San Antonio, our sister parish in the Yucatan, that the Spirit of God will renew them and guide them. We pray for our beloved deceased, especially for James Horgan, who died recently, and for the living and deceased of St. Mark and St. James Mary. We pray for any special intentions that you'd like to voice at this time. We pray. Good prevails. Through these prayers, may these words be true through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Remember then we have our collection basket and uh, those of you at home remember to drop off at St. Mark uh, Rectory or mail in the uh, collection. If not, we also have an, uh, an app you can uh, do for online giving. It's called Abundant. You can find out about that as well and uh, download the Abundant app and do online giving uh, to St. Mark Church Emporium, Pennsylvania. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through 
your goodness that we have received this wine we offer you the fruit of the vine the work of human hands and become our spiritual drink Blessed. please we offer you with humble contrite hearts Pray my sacrifice, yours, be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. O God, who in the one perfect sacrifice brought to completion myriad offerings of the law, accept, we pray, this sacrifice from your faithful servants, and make it holy as you bless the gifts of Abel, so that what each has offered to the honor of your majesty may benefit the salvation of all, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty, our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For out of compassion for the waywardness that is ours, he humbled himself and was born of the Virgin. By the passion of the cross, he freed us from unending death. By rising from the dead, he gave us life eternal. So with angels, archangels, with thrones and dominions, with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the unending hymn of your glory as we acclaim. rightly gives you praise for through your son our lord jesus christ by the power and working of the holy spirit you give life to all things you make them holy and you never cease to gather a people to yourself so that from the rising of the sun to its setting a pure sacrifice may be made to the honor and glory of your name therefore holy father we humbly implore you by the same spirit graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration they become the body and blood of your son our lord jesus christ whose command we celebrate these mysteries when the night he was betrayed he himself took bread and giving you thanks he said the blessing he broke the bread gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice once more, giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood. 
the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for men for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. celebrate the memorial of his saving passion and of your son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven. And as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church, recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself and the we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son, and be filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ, may make of us an eternal offering to you. We may be obtained, obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God. With blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and glorious martyrs and all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth. Your servant Francis, our Pope. Lawrence, our bishop, Bishop Donald, the Order of Bishops, all the clergy, the entire people you've gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you've summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all people scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, Give kind admittance to your kingdom, that we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory. Through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours ever and ever. Jesus talks about building the kingdom. He wants it on earth and in heaven. We pray, our Father, pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, always we may be free from sin and safe from all distress, as we wait the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior Jesus Christ, for the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give to you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, you who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of our Lord Jesus be with all of you.
who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. My Jesus, I believe you're present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, desire to receive you in my soul. Since I cannot receive you this moment sacramentally, come spiritually into my heart. I embrace you, you're already here. I unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. We will be uh, then on uh, sanitizing our hands, we're walking in single file, and um, um, sub six feet apart from each other.
Let us pray. Graciously be present in your people, we pray, O Lord, and lead the, those you have imbued with heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways to newness of life through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. So the Diocese of Erie officially informed us that the governor's orders limiting, limiting indoor gatherings to 25 people does not apply to churches. So in other words, we have our own protocols that we follow and uh, they're acceptable uh, and uh, from through the Diocese of Erie. And so we can maintain our social distancing with every third pew and six feet apart from each other and all the uh, sanitizing and all those kind of things. And um, we can keep, again, our, what our numbers... There's still room and for anybody who would still like to come. So we're doing good, but we want to also be very careful. If you have any symptoms of cold or anything, please do not come and always protect yourself and protect yourself from others. Okay, some more things going on. Um, our bulletin list that there is a, a, a young man be ready to be confirmed. Um, it was to be scheduled on Saturday, but it, it, we, we're going to be waiting for that. But Luis Patricio, please pray for him. He will be confirmed sometime this summer. And uh, we pray the Holy Spirit's working strong in his life. I guess the Holy Spirit's still working in him. So we're waiting some more time to get that power of God working in his life. So he needs our prayers for, you know, that uh, we help by our prayers, the power of the Spirit in Luis's his life. So look at the bulletin, get his name, put him on your daily prayer list. Okay, uh, Food Bank St. Mark's that, uh, on uh, Tuesday night at uh, 6.15 and Wednesday at around quarter to one uh, to help with distribution of the food bank. Thursday, July 30th, uh, we need four volunteers and mid-morning to help install a handicap ramp. And um, it's again on a Thursday morning at about 10.30 in the morning. If you call the rectory, let us know you're available. We'll inform uh, some place here in town and uh, call the rectory as soon as possible if you're able to help. Uh, you won't be in charge, you'll just be an assistant. And uh, sometimes some people like that, some people wanna be in charge, but you gotta be this. <laughs> anyways, so anyways. The Lord be with you. God's blessings upon you. The Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Our setting forth is let there be peace on earth.